Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRNAM for Monday, May 8th, 2023. And our top story today, it's National Mental Health Awareness Month. How Horses for Mental Health can help. And joining me now to discuss this and a lot more are Lynn Cook and Jacqueline Bomber for Horses for Mental Health. Lynn, Jackie, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Thank you Thanks so much. Happy yeah, we're gonna, to I'm excited. I like talking about horses, but Lynn, I also like talking about mental health and, and many Americans may or may not be aware that this is May and May is Mental Health Awareness Month. How important is it, is it for us as a country, as a society to address the mental health challenges that are going on today? Yeah, um, I appreciate the opportunity to spread the word about the importance of mental health because Mental Health Awareness Month was a a initially started some decades ago with the objective to reduce the stigma, to reduce the shame. And, and because when people feel ashamed of struggling with mental health, then they don't get help. So we're really looking to normalize that we all struggle with mental health. I mean, they, they say statistics like one in four struggle with mental illness, um, Depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide, but I don't even really like to, even though I just did, like to throw out those statistics because the fact of the matter is, is mental health is all of us. It's just so much a part of life as physical health. And so, and we all have our ups and downs. We all struggle. We all are, have family members that are struggling. And especially right now, we've gone through so many global challenges that um, we're in a mental health crisis. I mean, I, I, who isn't struggling in different ways. And so we really want to get the word out there, not only that mental health is normal and to seek help because there are ways to get help, um, but also that there are different ways to get help. And so what we're about is really promoting that horses and their programs that offer these programs that incorporate horses can be so beneficial for mental health in a different way than other types of services and traditional methods of sitting in an office. So that's what we're about with Horses for Mental Health. Yeah, and, and Jackie, I want to come to you. Um, uh, Lynn raised some really good points about the importance of mental health awareness, and we all suffer from some challenges. We're, we're all, I mean, that's what life is. It's about overcoming and dealing with challenges. But let's talk about horses. And, and I was telling you guys a story offline about my, my mother's horse and how therapeutic it is for her, and it's ther- therapeutic for me. But how does this program work? How does uh, See Through Horses, Seen Through Horses, work and and how how can people get involved yeah great question thank you um really seen through horses is about two things it's about supporting the organizations the grassroots community-led organizations that are out there doing this incredible work helping them raise awareness about their programs and raise much needed funds for their programs and and then it's also about raising awareness for the general public helping people understand that this is an option this is a solution they might consider as they're looking for, like Lynn said, ways to support their own mental health, their well-being. And so people who are wanting to get involved um, can go to our website, horsesformentalhealth.com, and click on the campaign seen, seen Through Horses. And what they'll find is a list of dozens and dozens of community organizations that are doing this great work. And they can learn and engage and and uh, really hear stories of transformation because that's one thing we get all the time is what what does it mean (laughs) incorporating horses into mental health like am i talking to a horse instead of a therapist am i riding (laughs) am i is it obstacle courses (laughs) like what how is this how does this work and uh, and the truth is there are many answers right there's no one one way that horses are incorporated into mental health Um, but what we found is the easiest way to share Uh, how this works is through sharing stories of transformation and so a part of what we do with the campaign is we've put together incredible stories that illustrate different people coming from different walks of life uh you know former military um 
women and children, uh, addiction, people suffering with addiction struggles, families, just all sorts of stories of people who have been looking for change in their life and have found it through horses. And uh, people can watch and share these stories to learn more and to share and then to support the organizations in their community that are providing these services. Uh, I, you know, I'm dating myself when, I'm, when, you, when you made the comment about talking to a horse, I thought immediately of Mr. Ed. Uh, so I'm really dating myself. But Lynn, um, do I need to be an expert in, in riding a horse? So I mean, when it comes to horses and, and tying it back to mental health, um, you know, it's been a, quite a while since I've been limber enough to get on top of a horse. Uh, but do I need to be an expert uh, horse rider or equestrian in order to, to bond with a horse and actually see the benefits of the mental health aspects of this? Yeah, I love that question because that's a, con <laughs> uh, a misconception, but actually you don't need to have any experience with horses whatsoever. In fact, a lot of these services and programs don't even involve riding horses. So it can work with all types of ages and health needs and issues um, can be around these these incredible animals. So, And you don't need to, to know anything about it because that's not what it's about. This isn't about people going out and buying a horse or going out and um, learning to become a horse expert in any way it's really about how these animals can teach us about ourselves yeah, and it, it, i mean it's a little bit different than maybe other animals like dogs or which are also wonderful too all animals are wonderful and being in nature is definitely a part of it the horses are a little more unique when their size they're large so they can be a little intimidating um which again is part of that dealing with challenges and intimidating overwhelming things of life but horses also give us feedback in a way that other animals don't. They are authentically themselves. They're not looking for a relationship with us. They are going to tell us and confront us in a really safe way, actually, that feels safer than with um, being confronted by other humans, for instance. So they'll kind of let us know, you know what? I'm not feeling very much authenticity from you right now, and I'm going to let you know that. <laughs> And it kind of helps us see ourselves in a different way um, and look at ourselves in a way that feels really emotionally safe. Yeah, well, ladies, I need to take a very quick com uh, commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna talk more about Seen Through Horses and how you can get involved. You're gonna wanna stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Oh, Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Invesco's latest Show Me the Income study reflects on the evolving retirement industry today as it faces the pressing need to help participants turn their defined contribution plan savings into long-term retirement income. Key findings from the research uncover that nearly 7 in 10 participants fear running out of money in retirement. And only 22% were very confident they could create a retirement income strategy on their own. What can employers do to help? To learn more about the study and request the white paper, visit Invesco.com retirementincome or contact your Invesco DC professional. 
Cited research is based on Invesco's work with Greenwald Research. Invesco is not affiliated with Greenwald Research. Invesco Advisors, Inc. is an investment advisor that provides investment advisory and does not sell securities. Invesco Distributors, Inc. is the U.S. distributor for Invesco's retail products and private placements. Both are indirect wholly owned subsidiaries of Invesco Limited. Tax audits. Tax liens wage garnishments. Every day we hear stories like this about good folks who are simply struggling to pay their bills. Each of them are living a frightening IRS tax nightmare and they are afraid it will destroy their lives. I'm a divorced single mom and my ex-husband left me and the kids with a lot of unpaid bills, including unpaid taxes. I was really starting to show my stress on my kids because the IRS had sent me a letter demanding a huge payment from me. I couldn't afford it. So then the IRS was threatening to garnish my wages. I'm already living paycheck to paycheck. That would have put me over the edge financially. It truly seemed hopeless, but then a friend at work told her to call the tax relief line. The people at the tax relief line, they told me about something called innocent spouse relief. They worked it out so that all of the taxes from my ex are not my problem. I don't know how that works and, and I don't care. All I care about is that I don't owe the IRS a dime and they are not going to take my paycheck. Even if it seems hopeless, you should call the number on your screen right now. There is absolutely no cost for the call or the consultation. You are under no obligation. If you are worried that the IRS could garnish your wages, seize your assets, even take your home, call us right now. The tax relief line is here to help you. Now you have a knowledgeable, professional team of tax experts that are ready to negotiate with the IRS and fight for you to save you money. The Tax Relief Line's professionals have successfully negotiated thousands of cases, reducing and sometimes even eliminating the tax debt for their clients. It's very easy to get started. Simply call the number on your screen right now. You don't have to live in fear anymore. The call and the consultation are free. Well, Lynn, Jackie, thanks so much for sticking around with us for segment number two. Really appreciate you uh, hanging out with us this morning. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. It's been fun. Yeah, it, this is fun. And, and Jackie, I want to ask you, just as a follow-up, I know the, I want to talk a little bit about the horse itself. And they are in, intuitive, and Lynn mentioned this in the, towards the end of the segment. Uh, they are so unique as animals, not, not only in size, but also they, they relate to humans very differently. And, and brushing them and taking care of them and feeding them carrots or apples or their little snacks or giving them hay, it really creates a bonding moment. It does. It absolutely, absolutely does. In fact, that's what kind of got me into this space in the first place. I was that little girl who growing up just always only wanted horses for every occasion and birthday and holiday, toy horses, figurines, plushy horses. I mean, what I ultimately wanted was a real horse. Um, and uh, I was I was that girl that was just nagging her parents all the time. Um, and uh, it didn't it didn't ever seem attainable for my family. Um, we lived in a city there were we didn't re realize that there were horses closer to us than we had thought, but we felt like, well, we can't access horses because we're in a city and and uh, we didn't feel like we had the funds to go own a horse or the knowledge. Um, and it wasn't until actually after I experienced a, a trauma as a child with uh, my father passing away and I was uh, 12 years old and really struggling with depression and overcoming this sudden and traumatic loss. And my mom reached out to a, a child specialist, a social worker and said, well, I just don't know what to do. And she said, well, you know, get her into some horses. You got to find her some horses because she's not responding to anything else. And, um, and when when my mom did some looking, she found out, oh, there's actually there are a couple stables. They're pretty close by. I didn't I didn't even realize that. And uh, I went down and volunteered at a stable just mucking stalls and grooming and learning about horses from the ground. And it was a real turning point for me in my journey and in my healing process. And then um, I went on to become a horse trainer and then I uh, studied social work because of the profound impact that had in my life. And so it seems so natural to consider, well, how can these two things connect? Um, and that's what led me to eventually meet and find Lynn, who's pioneered this industry and 
and uh, found out exactly how these things connect and how we can really marry that relationship with horses and mental health and well-being. And I'll say, I think going a little a little bit further on what Lynn was talking about, horses being just uniquely capable for this type of work, um, part of it, I think, is because of their nature as prey animals. So they're just hypersensitive and aware of their surroundings all the time. And they're so intuitive to emotions and energy. And it makes sense because in the wild, horses living as a herd, if uh, one horse becomes alarmed or startled, it's to the betterment and the benefit of the entire herd to be very quickly alerted and aware of that. Or if a horse is calm. And so they're constantly taking cues from each other, perhaps even more so than you know, predator animals or other animals. And uh, what's unique about horses is they, they just accept people right into their herd. So they'll constantly take cues from you and send feedback back to you. And they're just aware in a way that um, helps you, like Lynn said, start to become aware yourself of, of what what it is you're projecting out there and what it is you're reading and interpreting. And, and you get that real-time feedback and that very honest relationship that uh, helps you start to connect internally and, and figure out a little bit what's going on um, that way. And when you add a, a trained mental health professional into the mix, uh, it's it's a little bit magic, in my opinion, <laughs> the yeah, insight well, that you can you can find. Yeah, well, it certainly sounds like, and I can relate from a personal matter. I, I've seen my mother's horse with the ears perked up, and he's just so so intuitive. Lynn, uh, you know, it's Veterans uh, Veterans Month. I mean, Veterans Day is during the month of May. We also celebrate our veterans during during this month. PTSD has been a big issue for many veterans coming back from war, uh, from all, all the different conflicts that we've had, this is really an important step for them uh, to kind of soothe some of the challenges that they may have uh, from a mental health perspective. Yeah, absolutely. And what's neat about this type of approach is it's very approachable. You know, there's an, it, it feels safe. It feels more interesting. It's engaging where there is data to support that veterans and service members stay in therapy longer and treatment longer um, when horses are involved. And because it's experiential, they're actually feeling and experiencing the changes in the moment. So it's been really impactful for that population. A lot of the programs out there are working directly with that population. So we're so grateful to be able to serve and provide other resources that might be more effective and or at least add to the effectiveness of, of other approaches to help. Yeah, I, I, and Jackie, I, I just want to end uh, end with you. And this really gives people from all over the United States the opportunity. You don't have to own a horse. You can find a location that's near you. And, and like you were sharing from your childhood, there actually were stables close to you. You lived in an urban area. A lot of people out there, whether you grew up in a city or you grew up in a small town, you can find a, a stables or a location uh, through through the website uh, to, to partner with, and then you can go from there. That's right. I would recommend for anyone wanting to be get involved, um, whether for themselves or for loved ones, I would say there are three things you can do. Um, all of them start at horsesformentalhealth.org. So you can go online. Um, you can, like I mentioned earlier, check out these stories of transformation. It's just under the stories tab and you'll see it's been really exciting. Um, we've had a lot of support from, from people telling their stories and also from a lot of incredible supporters and influencers and celebrities getting involved saying, Hey, this has helped us. And we want to help spread the word to everyone from, you know, Randy Travis and Tanya Tucker, um, Grammy award-winning artists to Jill Rappaport. Um, and then, and then individuals who are just like everyone else telling their stories of transformation and, and what, how horses have helped them specifically sometimes in these programs. So you can see what, what it's like, what a session's like. So the first thing you can do is learn about these stories, learn about how it works, help us spread the word and share these stories of transformation. And you can do that on the website by going to the campaign. Uh, it's really simple. You just click on the campaign. It shows how you can help. Um, how this campaign works. It is a fundraising campaign. So um, if if sharing stories is as far as it goes for you, that's amazing. We want to get the word out there, share these stories on your social media. But you can also choose to support an organization. So you can click um, on the link to see all of our incredible charity partner organizations. Choose one uh, that resonates with you. 
and you can donate directly to their their uh, organization or if you want to go above and beyond you could set up a team and make a goal and say my goal is to raise $150 for this organization and invite your friends and family to contribute to to your fundraising campaign on their behalf to really make a difference for for these organizations and the people that they serve um, and that you can set up all through the website and then if you're looking if you're looking to find a program near you where you can go and receive services or find, you know, maybe someone you love can go in and get services, you can also check out these organizations on the website and um, they're divided by the states they're in and you can narrow it down. And a lot of our premier partners as well just have more, more organizations than you would imagine and more stables than you would imagine all throughout the country um, even in cities you know don't feel like you this isn't an option for you if you're in an urban area you'd be surprised at uh, how thoroughly horses have infiltrated our society they're <laughs> they're there you can get to them um, and and it's really an incredible thing because maybe what i would end on is horses horses have been such a huge part of human evolution over the years we wouldn't be where we are today without horses uh, in terms of farming you know agriculture and transportation um, but i really do believe that we're only just now understanding what a gift and, a, and what a blessing they are to our life um, in terms of now better understanding the role that they can play in supporting us in our emotional well-being and in our mental health and so i would encourage even people who you know who've always thought oh horses are neat but i don't know anything about them to take some time and explore this opportunity because it's a great solution um, for mental health and uh, mental well-being well and 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 you have to think outside the box you have to try everything you can and this is a a great opportunity Jackie, Lynn, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us, and we look forward to having you back on the program again very soon. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Jeff. And that wraps up this episode of BRNAM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the latest curated news and lifestyle, wellness, finance, tech, so much more in all in one place, check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. Want to search our archives, check out our latest content, or visit our website and, of course, all of our streaming partners. We're back again tomorrow for another great edition of BRNAM. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Now is your opportunity to co-create content around any topic on the first lifestyle and wellness network. Reach a global audience through our platform and co-own exclusive branded content. All of our programs are available on demand and also as audio only podcasts so you can take us on the go. Broadcast Retirement Network, available anytime, anywhere, and on any device.